What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad. So, uh, in my off time here, I've managed to beat up a whole bunch of enemies here in... Jeez. It's been forever since I actually recorded an episode. Uh, is this place Alatos? I can't remember. That's probably a bad thing, but whatever. So unfortunately, uh, I managed to somehow mysteriously uh, leapfrog the cheer trumpet. So that is not an ability I will be getting for Poco. But uh, I did get everything else. Not that everything else is all that worthwhile, but whatever. I did get a whole bunch of levels and stuff as well, so that's something anyways. Hmm. So anyways, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is apparently the uh, what I said earlier about the battles not being cumulative is completely untrue because I definitely did not have to fight more than 10 or so enemies in between rewards. Uh, as long as you don't like screw up and accidentally reset your account by going to the Water Guardian when you haven't yet earned a reward. Uh, with that said, uh, the actual amount of enemies you need to kill to earn each reward is a little bit random, it seems, so if you do jump, uh, jump, leapfrog, the, uh, cheer trumpet, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's honestly not something that's going to play very big of a deal at all in anything. So anyways, uh, now that I have completed all of my uh, stuff over in it was in Zerban, not Alatos, uh, now I want to go back to Amidar Temple and finish off the Proving Grounds. I'm just kind of making the rounds of the, uh, the side quests, so to speak. So at this point I should be uh, more than a match for everything and well, anything and everything that the Ambidar Proving Grounds has to throw at me. At the very least, Ark is. And a big part, uh, reason for that is because, uh, well, he's leveled up quite a bit. He's level 48 now. Uh, but that's not what I was trying to say. Uh, and I think it was level 41, uh, his Gale, Gale Flash ability reaches level 3. And that is significant because it gets a big ass attack range. That's what, seven squares wide? That's massive. It costs a lot of MP, but it's an exceptionally useful ability at level three. It's a little bit useless before that. But at level three, it's like completely ridiculous. So, Ark is even more of a beast than before. And Iga is doing quite well for himself too. He's learned a bunch of uh, different abilities, and some abilities have leveled up. And uh, he's very much become like my second strongest character at this point. Uh, he can do a very surprising amount of damage, actually. These bats that I'm facing here are pretty much fodder. Tosh, I've more or less gone into, uh, like not use mode, because as I've mentioned several times, I don't want him to get to very high level. Gogen has uh, become uh, pretty beastly himself as well. Uh, most of his abilities at this point ha have uh, the increased range, which is like five squares wide or whatever, and his damage is becoming pretty good, so he's very much come into his own. And Poco's actually managed to keep up with levels quite nicely, considering I uh, gave him that time for the uh, the, the tournament in need. Uh, since I took the time to power level him a little bit, he's actually managed to keep up pretty well. And uh, a big uh, part of that actually is the uh, the cheer the cheer flute. Is that what's called? Shift flute. There. Uh, just uh, using that anytime you don't have an enemy to attack is actually a very good source of experience. Uh, especially, I don't know if the uh, 
tiny ring that increases the range of the flute to the entire battlefield. I don't know if that actually increases the experience you get from it, but it makes it easier to use anyway. So basically everyone but Tosh and Kukuru have come a long way in the short time that it took to kill 70 enemies in the w water country. Kukuru, unfortunately, at this point, like, healing doesn't give you a whole lot of experience, and she's just never really is very good at killing stuff. Like, at this point in the game, uh, enemies are strong enough that she doesn't really have the power required to kill them with her physical attacks, and enemies are dangerous enough that she wants to stay off the front lines. But her magic, her one magic attack, Divine Judgment, just never really gets powerful, so that's kind of unfortunate. These guys are actually somewhat beefy. Anything that Ark is not one-shotting is a formidable foe. I was going to say I might as well use Tosh to try and weaken one up, but that didn't work so well. Uh, let's go Thunderstorm. That should hopefully kill a couple of the ones that Ark weakened. Or it could just weaken them more, I guess that works too. Uh, let's hold Kukuru back. Oh, Fusion. That's going to make this fight kind of annoying. Uh, or what? What are they doing? They're all just like running away and hiding in the corner. Enemies are so random in this game. Their AI is really quite terrible. Get Fujin out here. Has some sort of a uh, physical force on this battlefield. Uh. Try and have Ark deal with these big guys, since everyone else is probably going to struggle a little bit to do damage with them. So, uh, one of the abilities that uh, Iga learned is this, Ryusubaku, or however it's pronounced. And it's a very good ability. Uh, it hits a fairly wide range and for a good amount of damage. It's centered around Iga. Uh, that was probably not the best example, but... Just take my word for it. It's good. Whoa. Okay, then. That's a bit more like it. Uh... And Tosh is kind of terrible. Uh, Explosion is probably not the best choice of abilities on these guys. Let's try one slash. Well, that something's dead anyways. Uh, I might as well use Divine Judgment. I, w I was going to say it's better than nothing, but the fact of the matter is it's probably not going to do any damage. Like that. Bye bye, Tosh. Oh, no, he survived. He's not as pathetic as I thought. We'll kill him eventually. Uh, if nothing else, Ark is ridiculously strong enough that he can get the job done if no one else can. How did Gogen survive that? I would not have thought he had 71 HP. Fusion Ha! Uh, I guess Odon? I don't know. After Fujin, I, he doesn't really have any summons that are really worth the effort at this point. I do want to try and get them a little bit more experience if I can, but the fact of the matter is they're probably not going to end up doing a whole lot. Okay, well let's have Iga continue working these guys down.
If I'd had the opportunity to give Iga a uh, battle drum, he's just completely ridiculous. Unfortunately, I haven't done that at this in this fight so far, but... Did that say 1 HP? It actually did. That's pretty lucky. There goes one of them. Uh, this guy died. Uh, I should probably heal Gogen, huh? Being at one health is not a, a very comfortable place to be. That thing's gonna cause me some issues. Go, Odon! Try and be useful! Fujin has a surprising amount of health. He's actually very kind of tanky. And Tosh is apparently still alive. That's fairly surprising. Bye, Odon. Oh, Odon is still alive too. I guess these little purple dudes don't do all that much damage. Board. Tornado Cyclone Fist thingies. I don't know why they're fists. I guess just because Iga is a martial artist. And for whatever reason, Poco is just like able to just completely outdo everyone else's damage against these guys with Lion Drum. I wish I knew why, but I don't. But I guess I'm not going to complain about being able to do damage. It's a pretty good fight for Gogen. Lots of level ups. Not so much for Tosh. At least one of them needs healing, I think. I guess they did. That wasn't much better than Odon. Hmm. Changora is not the most impressive party member, to say the least. Oh, I was gonna say, now you die! But then he dodged. And Himoji just kind of can't do anything. Okay, let's see if this will kill you off. Not quite. Then eat my laser beams! Still no? Huh. Can you reach? I don't think you can. I... Duke? Well, no, Divine Judgment's not going to do anything. Well, I mean, it might do damage, but it's not going to kill it. That is Ark's job. Down it goes. And Ark leveled up again, because he needs more levels. I'm just gonna pass some turns until I get Ego's turn again. Oh. Guess I'm just gonna have to punch him in the face. Well, that took a bit longer than I expected. Wow. Lots of experience for Ega and Gogun. That's fine by me. So, uh, that was two rounds of the Proven Grounds anyways. Uh... I was hoping to get a little bit more done today, but that was not the case. No, I don't want more trivia. So, uh, I guess I'll do more tri Proving Grounds uh, next time on the next episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad. Catch you later!